captain has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. If you're brand new to Flare, you're probably wondering, where do I begin? Well, we have a few suggestions to help make things easier for you. First, consider signing up for a training course. It's well worth your time and will go a long way toward getting you off on the right foot. Everyone we've talked to who's taken a training course is really glad they did. There might even be cookies. Also, just by taking a quick look around the Madcap Software website, you'll find some great free resources, such as webinars, both live and recorded, videos, and the Madcap blog, with all kinds of tips and tricks. In Flare itself, you can read some of the introductory help topics. Here are a few that we recommend for new users. Welcome. Basic steps for creating and developing a project. Key features. And touring the workspace. When you're ready to start working in Flare, there's something else we suggest you do before tackling your own content. Create a test project. Treat it like a sandbox. Play around with things. See how it feels. Here's a good way to do this. First, select File and click New Project. Give the project any name you want and click Next. On the next page of the wizard, you'll see lots of factory templates in different folders. For example, open Online and Print. If you want a very simple template, choose Top Navigation and PDF Basic. If you want something that has more bells and whistles, select Top Navigation and PDF Advanced, then click Next, and after that, click Finish. What you've got now is an actual Flare project that already has content and lots of pieces in place. It's all set up to produce several kinds of output in both online and print formats. You can do anything with this project that you want, including replacing the content and styles with your own. But before you jump in and make any changes, do this. On the left side of the workspace is a window pane called the Project Organizer. Open the Targets folder and then open the subfolders. Each of the files that you see represents a different output that can be created from the project. We've set things up so that you've got eight different PDF outputs. And then there's one online output using the HTML5 top navigation format, which is good for publishing on the internet. It's the ideal format to use if you want to create online documentation that has the look of a modern website. In addition, the top navigation format produces responsive output. This means that the display is adjusted automatically depending on whether a person is looking at it on a large monitor, on a tablet, or on a mobile device. You'll also see something called a batch target. Double-click this file to open it. This file isn't required at all. It's just a cool file that we thought we'd add to make things even easier for you. This is a special file that collects all of the other targets into one batch file so that you can quickly compile the output for all of them with the single click of a button, like this. It's just easier to use the batch file than it is to open each of the regular targets and compile the output for each one separately. When it's all done, you can select the project ribbon and use the view menu to see any of these outputs. As you can see, each of the outputs has its own look and feel. Not only that, but much of the content is exactly the same in all outputs. Other content is found in only some of the outputs. We did that on purpose to show you that you have the flexibility in Flare to pick and choose what you want for each output. Take a look around at the various outputs, click on things, see what things look like and what they do. Then, at some point, when you're a little bit more comfortable with Flare, open the online help at webhelp.madcapsoftware.com. Go to the Tutorials menu and select one of the categories. You'll see many topics that explain how we created some of Flare's template projects. Pick a feature that you think you might want to include in your own project. Follow the steps and take a crack at recreating the same thing yourself. Between the test project, a training course, and all of the other resources available, you should be well on your way to becoming a true madcap propeller head.